poised so far and some of the changes that are made by have been made by Josh Wolf have been able to pay dividends for them as drive dropping back very dangerously and you start to see the dynamo looking to be more inspired a long distance shot that goes just inside oh! oh, the dynamo take the lead in the fifth minute of play coming way out of his area and Sebastian Ferreira giving the Dynamo the lead what a goal what a shot by Ferreira perfectly placed and Stuber was offline tracking the ball running back trying to save it doesn't get there great job by Ferreira notices the goalkeeper out of position takes advantage of that and what a strike comes down just to get in the back of the net Carrasquilla coming from behind and a lot of energy coming from him as that pass it could go wide looking for a chance let's save as quickly being involved is Andrew Tarbell a corner kick coming up for Houston Austin doesn't know exactly what happened yet I'm not sure one goal from Houston is going to be enough to win this one considering the offensive power Austin has Pereira Again, missing it just wide. Four so far in the season. And here could, number, here could come another one. All alone, Ethan Finley. That was the option to go to. Clark was very well positioned. Great bit of movement. It is a through ball. Promising. As it's left to be going. Ferreira all by himself down this near side. Ferreira hooks back inside. And an easy, easy shot for Tarbell to be able to pick up. Trying to send that ball right smack dab in the middle as Dani Pereira was around. Now another break as Sebastian Fer Ferreira comes up a little bit short, but Pico being able to get past two defenders. Quintero. Quintero from outside! The save from Tarbell to be able to prevent the second goal of the match. In Quintero had the space, took the shot. Boom. Well done by the goalkeeper, Quintero is the offensive driving force of the Houston Dynamo. Yes, sir. They fall back to try and make it harder and more difficult, reduce the spaces for, for Austin that are going to need to get creative to find a way in. Alex Ringo and the ball gets deflected somehow, some way. From a defensive standpoint, Alejandro, is how little, you see right there that deflection yeah. and Clark, brilliant. Who we'll go into the first, as we take a look at the first booking of the match yes sir it'll be Driussi. Sebastian Driussi being able to clear it away with Tarbell Carrasquilla into space it's, it just floats through and Tarbell being able to recover just in time Tim Parker kept that ball alive for the Dynamo here's Alex Ring does have Finley, who's been free on more than one occasion, trying to set that ball through. Goal! Pereira. Goal! As Austin equalized at 38. Dani Pereira. Pereira. Nice little cross coming in from the right. Perfectly placed by Finley and Pereira coming in from behind with a good solid strike this is what Austin does I mean they'll score on you for sure they are the highest scoring team in MLS so it's a matter of you being able to score that first goal was unexpected it changed everything and then Austin got control of the match and did enough to tie it up Fagundes might end up being able to give him the lead Fagundes leaves it for Pereira oh. ah, Clark yet again Steve Clark Steve Clark Saving the day. The death at the end of this first half. That is the last bit of action here at PNC Stadium. And we're knotted up at one. Ready for the second half here as we're underway. Austin FC. And it was interesting to hear Josh Wolf so close that Steve Clark had to make a save in the very last touch of the ball. Yeah. In the first half. And so we find ourselves knotted up at one and a foul being called as. Adalberto Carrasquilla coming in and 
he'll end up being the second player booked on the afternoon by referee Ted Uncle. They certainly have what it takes to create danger. I'm expecting a little bit more on offense by Houston. Finley, watch out, this could be 2-1! Is that ball nearly sneaks in that far post for Ethan Finley? And a great opportunity for Austin at 56, almost 57. Let's take another look at it on the right side. Nice pass into the space. Little cut on the inside. Fafa Picol again trying to accelerate through and does. Causing some pressure. Coming back and that should be a yellow card on Alex Ring. And it is. Rarely got the opportunity to start games. Always coming off the bench. Despite being better than some of the options Matias Almeida had to work with. Can the shot through Sebastian Driussi at 66. Just need one move, one moment, and they can make a huge difference. His seventh of the year for number seven. Boom. What a goal by Driussi. What a shot. Curled it into the back of the net, gets the control of the ball, cuts into the inside, has enough space to take the shot. Just in case the ball, I think he's going to cross it. Nope. It's way too low. It'll be a corner kick. Good ball there by Chiaquinho on the header. As you start to see that pressure that Alejandro Berri was talking about looking to be applied. And we have to go back to Halloween. Here's a good through ball. Dropping it back. The chance and gets saved right on the line. They had the most chances to score and they came back from behind to win here for the first time in franchise history. Four wins in a row, top of the conference. Magnificent job by Wolf.